was well, probably one of its busiest periods. They had uh, the British with Venoms. They had the uh, uh, Blue Streak. They had the uh, Blue Steel, which was a standoff bomb. Uh, they were doing uh, rocket trials of several different types. So it was very, very busy. And uh, I ended up running the airport uh, which was one of the busiest in Australia at that time. And we used to start at four in the morning because the, the, uh, the updrafts from the heat during the day would throw the bombing platforms off. So they used to do a lot of their trials very early in the morning. So we'd, we'd get a trial over by breakfast time and uh, everyone else would finish off by midday but then I had aircraft to turn around f with the results from the trials until about seven o'clock at night. The odd uh, Jindavik would go away. Then um, there's one day when a, a pilotless uh, Canberra bomber decided it wouldn't play ball and, and uh, they decided to uh, change from a, a miss to a hit so they launched the uh, the trial shot and uh, a most spectacular display when the the rocket hit the aircraft and uh, blew a wing off and a ball of fire from the fuel in the wing and then it did all sorts of gyrations before it hit the ground <laughs>